3D Octopus on a Pair of Glasses Acrylic Nail Art Tutorial by Hot Pink Zebra Polish. Hi everyone! In today's video I'm going to be doing a quick little review and tutorial on these glasses. So the glasses I got from Fermu, and when I first saw them I saw this gorgeous pink tortoiseshell print that, I, that they are, which I picked out because obviously pink, I love pink, and it for whatever reason instantly made me think of an octopus. Whenever I think of an octopus I think of the ones that can do that color morphing and the texture morphing when they're underwater to um, uh, camouflage into their background and this reminded me of that for whatever reason so I decided obviously to add an octopus to these glasses. So the octopus is just pink and actually pretty small and kind of subtle in the corner and might almost be thought of as like a filigree unless you really look at it so it's it's subtle yet it's still really funky and different and kind of crazy which I love. So I hope you guys like that too and I just quickly want to say that I am really liking these glasses. I'll do a more in-depth review on them in a moment but I was a little concerned about the prescription just because you know glasses off the internet who knows what kind of prescription you're gonna get and how accurate is it going to be but these are probably one of the best prescribed pair that I have. So I'm really excited about that and they fit really well. There's all kinds of measurement tools they have on their website to make sure that you are going to get a pair that's fitting you properly and fits your head. So I hope you guys check that out. I'll put all kinds of links and information in the description box below as well as how their sales work and things like that. So check that out if you're interested in the market for some new glasses and don't forget to click subscribe to see all my future videos as well. So here are the glasses and um, the quality is really nice. They came and they were um, nice and clean and symmetrical and all of that. The case itself is actually, it's a nice case too. It's big enough that the glasses fit in it, which is something that probably seems ridiculous, but they're a little bit on the bigger size for a frame. So it's something you think about. It also came with that little pouch and then it came with a cleaning cloth and all of these other little things that are nice, you know, just extra stuff. And it came with a repair kit too, which is really cool. And the glasses are really lightweight. The lenses are super nice. They're super thin. Um, everything is uh, like, they're really nice quality. I don't, I don't know what else to say about it, but they're just, they are, they're, they're a good pair of glasses. So, and they have so many different styles on there. It was amazing the variety that they had on the website. So now really quickly, I just took my e-file and a pretty small bit and I kind of scuffed up the section where I knew that I was going to be setting the body and the head of my octopus. So after I had that and I just wiped the dust off, I'm going to start sculpting out just sort of a platform with a dark berry type burgundy fuchsia color not really burgundy, but fuchsia color for his head and body. So I'm going to start out with just that, just kind of making sure that it kind of goes up enough that it's going to have that nice shape sticking off the glasses slightly. I want it to, you know, have that 3D extended look. And then I'm going to take and place some light pink over the top of it. Where I want his eyes to be, I'm just using the tip of my brush and pressing it in so some of that darker color shows through. And then that also is going to create a little indent, which will make the eyes have more of a 3D depth to them. And then I'm going to start adding his tentacles. Now, when I'm doing the tentacles, I went back and forth from side to side as I was adding them. So I did one to the right, and then I did one to the left, and then I just kept going back and forth doing this with the light pink color of acrylic. And the other thing I want to say about this is that if you're thinking about doing this to a pair of glasses and you're worried that it's not going to last, that you're that you're hard on them, you wear them all the time, you throw them in your purse or backpack or what have you, you don't really have to worry about it. I probably around three years ago, I sculpted a little red-eyed tree frog on my dad's safety glasses that he wears for work. Now, I don't know how much you guys know about what happens to safety glasses on a construction site, but they really do get tested. <laughs> and he had that little frog on there until the glasses just broke about a month ago and the frog stayed. So that really does last a very, very long time and you don't have to worry about that happening. And with a design like this where the octopus is nice and flat against the glasses and there's really no delicate little bits, you also don't have to worry about the acrylic breaking as far as just like a chunk breaking off of it because it is just flat against it. It's really durable and acrylic is made to be durable. So you'd really don't have to be concerned that you're going to be breaking it. The other thing that's really nice is that this is extremely easy to sculpt on because the glasses have that nice sheen on them. And I know that I'm going to be enhancing, I guess you could say, a pair of sunglasses here and uh, that I just ordered online, but they're matte. So I'm going to have to try to see how that works and see how it goes to sculpt on the matte glasses and if that works out as well. And that's an experiment. Um, but that being said, on these that have that really nice sheen to them, it sculpts super easy. And I'm just keep 
going back and forth on the glasses and you want some of your te- some of the some of the tentacles to overlap each other and kind of like weave in and out and stuff and as you're doing some of like that curl of the tentacle there I know that I was doing most of it with the tip of my brush but then I decided I went through and I used a silicone tool just to kind of define that little curl and that worked out really really well so I would recommend having a silicone tool or two on hand while you're working then again I recommend doing that when you're working on a project regardless of what it is because those silicone tools they come in handy it's amazing how often I'm working on something I'm like I my brush is just not quite helping me out here and then I think oh I should use that silicone tool that I have and it works really 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 well so I always recommend I actually have two sets of these silicone tools which is kind of maybe ridiculous but I use them constantly and I now I have one that's in my work stuff and another thing so sidetracked right now but I might as well mention it if you have a silicone tool and you're applying gel that little cone shaped one the pointy one if you get a little bit of gel that's flooding your cuticle or that went to the side or something that is the best thing to get it off your skin and to get it away from your nail before you cure you can just so easily just basically trace your nail and get rid of any extra gel which will make the gel last so much longer because it's not on your cuticle at all which will prevent it from peeling off at all so I just quickly wanted to you know spew some other sidetrack information so with the shimmery white semi sheer acrylic i'm just going to be adding a little bit more of a highlight on his forehead and then kind of down between his eyes a little bit just to enhance that area it wasn't quite bright enough for me so i wanted to add a little bit more just acrylic right in the center just to get some bits and then with some bronze acrylic i'm going to take and i'm going to be adding his eyes so this is just with a really metallic bronze color just tiny little beads setting them right in those areas that we set aside for his eyes that's the great thing about creating those indents before with the tip of your brush is that those eyes get placed and it's so easy to place them because you already know exactly where they're going to go and they just sort of fit that's how i always think about it whenever i do that make kind of an eye socket beforehand you don't really have to do too much because they just sort of go into place so then you're going to want to extend some of the tentacles that go off to the one side that's towards the bow so you're going to want to kind of look to see where it'll line up and guesstimate where you want to start the tentacle off and then continue it on from there as long as it's close you're good um you don't want to sculpt these with the glasses with that bow open because then you have a really good chance of making it so that the acrylic attaches to the other side and then you won't be able to open them so you do want to definitely have them closed like that and sort of look and see where it lines up and then work it out uh, which is a little tricky sometimes but it's if it's close it's good enough so then i'm going to take some white paint and i added little polka dots on the top of his head for the little patterning on them and then i'm going to take and add a little white line on each of the tentacles to really to brighten them up and to define them and to highlight them and this white line if you depending on the color of octopus that you're making if your octopus is blue or different color you can always use a lighter shade of that color but since it's this really light pink white paint is going to be the best thing just because you want the highlight to actually show up and i'm also going to be taking some white and just going around his eyes to create basically little eyelids make sure that those also show up really really well and then go through and do the same thing on the tentacles that are on the back and i just added a couple little curly cues on them just to kind of you know i, don't know, I really like swirls and just about anything so octopuses are so much fun to do that with so yeah so then with black paint i'm gonna go through and add some details to his eyes that little horizontal pupil some little outlines around there and then just a couple lines here and there just to really define where the different parts of him are so i want to just add a little outline around his head where the tentacles are and then outline any of the places where the tentacles touch each other just to make sure that you can very easily see where each of them is and that they're not just kind of a mess that your eye can easily pick them out but i didn't want to over outline it i wanted to keep it simple and kind of small so I didn't do too many and then I'm gonna take and with a dark burgundy type color I'm going to add little polka dots on the underside of each of the tentacles so just take and add a whole series of little dots and I'm just doing this with my tiny brush and they are not perfect they're not all the same size they are not evenly spaced I did them quickly and kind of organically I guess you could say I wasn't really worried about them being perfect um he's an octopus he's you know he's he's a living thing he's not perfect and um, they're just kind of fun little dots and they're so small that it probably can't even tell that they're not perfect because they really are just teeny teeny tiny so just keep adding them and make sure that you always go around the same side of the tentacle so that it is always the bottom because that is where they are so go ahead and do that on all those and then add the ones that are going on the bow as well you don't want to forget that 
continue those up and around just like that little tiny polka dots you could also do this with a dotting tool or a toothpick or something and then apply a layer of a matte top coat over the 3d art be careful you don't get it on your lens or anything like that where it's not supposed to be so i always like to use a pretty dry brush when i'm applying matte top coat just so that it sort of dusts what you're doing with it and that is it these glasses are so cool and so much fun and i am absolutely in love with having this octopus on there because it's so unexpected i guess you could say it just kind of looks like a decoration on there and then you look and it's a sea creature so i hope you like it and share any recreations with me on facebook or instagram i would love to see them and i will see you in my next video bye